Are we on? Yeah. Are we rolling? <laughs> can you guess where I am? If you cannot, this is a really cool little secret hidden spot that's really not that hidden. It's just on the first level here at the W Hotel in downtown Bellevue. I had no idea that this fun, kind of hip, swanky bar was here, and it's called Civility and Unrest. Let's go in and check it out. Okay, we are here, and it's cocktail time. There it is now. We're out for the evening, and I'm pretty excited because I just asked for a drink with tequila, and I heard him say something about squidding. I'm guessing there's gonna be something a little funky in the drink. There's a really cool, nice um, selection of some fun little drinks, and I bet you did not know that this Civility and Unrest is owned by the Lake House. So you would come in the front door here by the valet and you wouldn't even know that this place is here. It's very unsuspecting. And then when you come in, boom, you come into this gorgeous space, just like Lake House. It's absolutely beautiful inside. There is a front room, which we're sitting in now, and then there's a back room that is absolutely sexy and dark, and it's just super cool. The light fixtures are really neat and just has a very, kind of swanky vibe in here. Bartenders are obviously super skilled at their craft and you know this is like this isn't like your corner bar. This is like speakeasy. Oh look at what he's doing. I don't want to get in the way of the b-roll. I'm gonna come and watch you do this. Is that roseberry? It is. Oh what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's he doing? This is a whiskey cocktail. Wow called A Tale as Old as Time. Yes, A Tale as Old as Time, look at that. It's like a Harry Potter movie. It's like a Harry Potter movie. It's all just smoke and mirrors. Right? <laughs> this is the tequila, not too many other spirits, sort of spirit forward kind of a cocktail. This is gonna be tequila, uh, a little bit of passion fruit, pineapple, banana, uh, with Maletti uh, uh, orange base tomorrow. Uh, the smoked rosemary, just a touch of a Carolina Reaper tea to make it spicy. And just a touch of mezcal to just draw that smoke. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Thank you. Thank you. The tail is all just time. It's our play on a whiskey sour, passion fruit juice, lemon juice, caramel citrus syrup, and some squid ink and egg white. Wow, wow it's beautiful. Cheers. cheers. Okay, well, cheers to you. Cheers, friends. You can have one sip, you won't die. Try this one. Mmm. Looks like a cigar to me. Paul, have a sip. <laughs> I don't usually like whiskey because it gives me college vibes, but I'm gonna give it a go. Squiddy. I've got the vibe. A whiskey to me is, it's just not my friend, but I will say this, this is delicious. It's sweet. There's like something foamy on top. I don't know what it's. Is it egg white? Egg, egg it white. is egg white. I wasn't sure if, if that went together with this. I love, love, love the glassware. I'm very big into that. So I would say, and then there's some kind of flower petal situation on the top here, which is very pretty. And you just kind of feel cool when you're drinking it, like, you know, like you have something going on. <laughs> A little secret nobody knows. I also want to acknowledge that the lights have now been dimmed. So now there's a really sultry kind of sexy feel in here. Probably the company that I'm with, but <laughs> what I do without my team. We have the Persephone's Dream. Rum, yeah. lime, passion fruit, or uh, pomegranate hibiscus syrup, um, a little bit of red wine vinegar, egg whites, and then a pomegranate hibiscus powder on top. Wow, thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, mostly I thought it would be fun to order this drink because I think it's fun to say Persephone's, but also everything in the drink sounded really interesting. So let me have a little taste. Really good. This is the one I really like. Part of it has to do with the glass and part of it has to do with the taste. All right, what a fun way to spend hump day here at Civility and Unrest. We had so much fun trying some new drinks. The service was amazing. The bartenders really know what they're doing. They're using some really cool ingredients. I recommend now that we are masks off, get yourselves down here, enjoy a drink. Of course, I'm always ending with my favorite. If it's not tequila, it's a nice glass of Prosecco and they have a nice cava, which is a Spanish 
sparkling wine on the menu. So to that, I say to you, cheers to you and cheers to you.